And we're back. So, uh, here begins the most plot-centric events of this stretch of the game. And uh, right now I'm just making sure that everything's recording. At this point I'm using Hypercam 2, which is now free to download and use for all. Because they've moved on to uh, Hypercam 3 at this point. So you're going to see me just sort of run through these guys, because with the gravity suit, it really doesn't matter. They don't do much damage, and I'm... I, I am so done with this part of the game anyways that I don't really get, I don't really care. There's a tad bit of lag, nowhere near as much as there was in Fraps. It's already getting better. Uh, Hypercam does tend to freak out, though, when you start recording saying it's too many frames, but come on, it's 30 frames per second. You can't record 30 FPS in a GBA game? What the hell? You're mine. I still haven't forgotten... I've still not gotten over the fucking Blue X. I still maintain a large grudge against them. And that was stupid. I should have killed that thing. So yeah, before there was this room full of Blue X that I, I nearly got killed in, or I may have gotten killed in it, and there was nothing to do. There was absolutely nothing you could do in this place before. Uh, now there is. And, uh... I kind of figured it was this place, too, the first time I played. I was like, you know, nothing happened here before. This has got to be it. So we have a bunch of irritating guys who do next to no damage. We have a bunch of these red guys on the floor, and I still don't know what the fuck they're supposed to be. But uh, there's an instant drop floor there, and those are screw attack walls. But you will not be able to screw attack anything, so I'm unsure as to how you're supposed to get there. Clearly, there's a way to get there after you have obtained the screw attack, but as far as I know, you're getting railroaded towards the end of the game once you reach that point. Now, we're going to go down here because there's an event we need to trigger before we can fight the security robot, and that is this. Now, uh, remember... Adam told us to leave Nocturnal immediately. He didn't want us staying in here very long, and he said that was because the SAX was hunting us. But is that true? Mm, we're gonna find out in a little bit. Don't fucking spoil it, people who play the game. So, I've beaten this guy like a half dozen times now. He's a pushover, but I decide, you know what? Uh, I should probably save. And that's about when I reach that point. It's like, you know what, I should probably... Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna go save. <laughs> I know I can kill this guy. I've done it so many times. He's easy as hell, but... I, I don't... Same reason you're gonna see me grind for health later on is I don't want to die against this guy at all. Warning. No entry without authorization. And I got hit, but it doesn't fucking matter. This guy's easy. Warning. No entry without authorization. I'm gonna take another hit here. It still doesn't matter. Warning. I took no two hits. But here we go. This is the rematch against the security robot that you fought all the way back in uh, Pyro. And uh, he's back, and uh, he, if anything, he is actually easier. I'm not shitting you. He has almost no attack that, uh... He has almost no attack that hits you while you're directly over him, except for the missiles. And those are easily avoidable, as you're gonna see me doing here. I don't think I got hit by them even once. So basically, his basic pattern is he's gonna walk around a bit... Um, until he hits a barrier or some such. Either until he, like, hits one side, or he, or you, he gets hit by you. And then he's going to start jumping everywhere, and then he's going to fire his missiles, and then he'll start walking again. Sometimes he'll decide to uh, randomly shoot missiles while he's walking, but it, as long as you stick to one of the sides, this isn't going to be a problem for you. As long as you stay to one side, he will almost never, ever hit you. He is... I'm not even kidding, this guy is so easy. Like, the most dangerous thing that can happen to you is like, right there when he shoots missiles right next to you. But he but he rarely does that. And they... You can you destroy a missile with, like, one shot. 
All this fight requires is a little bit of patience is all. And that's pretty much it. That's literally all there is to it. There's nothing more to say about this guy. He isn't more powerful. His, his attacks don't even hurt that much. What hurts you is the electrified water. Um, until you take him down, the floor is electrified. And if you touch it, it hurts like hell. So be sure to avoid that. But yeah, that's it. This is not really that much of a rematch. More of a mercy killing, really. This guy is really pathetic. In fact, the, in fact, the, the next few bosses, like this boss, the next boss, and the boss immediately after, um, if you're not like me and actually go in prepared, um, are actually pushovers. There are, like, there are no bosses like Nightmare left in the game. Nightmare really is the hardest this game gets. Okay, and now that the robot is dead, he's going to release his brain, which is going to turn into a core X parasite, which is the most dangerous part of this fight. The reason why is because this guy has the fucking wave beam, which hurts a lot. So you want to make sure you don't get hit by the wave beam, because... It can kill you very quickly, but there he is. He's dead. And now we have the wave beam ability, which will allow us to shoot through walls, which is incredibly useful to open switches. Which we're going to have a chance to demonstrate immediately right over here. To acquire another missile tank, because we needed more missiles. And this was just to demonstrate that there is no way back from over here. This is the point at which the game starts forcing you forward in one direction. And uh, the wave beam uh, not only shoots through walls, it does power up your primary attack. And I decided to kill this guy anyways, so... At this point, I'm a little twitchy because I've been through this so many times, and I'm dreading the part that's coming up, because the first time I went through it, it nearly killed me. I escaped, and then I decided that I liked this wall for some reason. I wanted to stay here. I didn't want to do this next part. <laughs> I want this wall. I love this wall. I want to stay next to this wall. But we move on. Um, ow. Uh, this next part nearly killed me the first time. It's a, you're on a 60 second countdown and I got out of there with 7 seconds to spare and it was it's one of the more heartbreaking things I I so don't want to do this it's one of the more heartbreaking things about um, the next part and about the footage, the fact that the footage was so bad was because I got out of this with 7 seconds left to spare out of 60 that you're given to get out I escaped by the skin of my teeth and it was hilarious I kept getting blocked by the various obstacles that keep pushing you in various directions. And I <laughs> I was ranting and raving and screaming obscenities at the controller, at the obstacles, at Samus. But holy shit, Metroids! There is a Metroid breeding program. And uh, sorry about that sprite effect, it's Hypercam. There's a Metroid fucking breeding program going on in the BSL station. And poor Samus doesn't know what the fuck. I was like, oh, oh, god damn it, again? Again? Didn't I just deal with all of this? Didn't I just see this blow up? Damn you! Damn you, Galactic Federation! See, here we have a normal Metroid. Samus is giving it a piece of his, her mind. He's gonna give each of them a piece of her mind. Zeta... Gamma, and uh, Alpha, Zeta, and Gamma Metroids, along with regular Metroids. Oh, let's do this. More Metroids! Samus is pissed. She doesn't know what the hell. Oh, oh shit. Grrr. 
Oh shit. Uh, let me give you a hand there. Good. Oh crap, that's not one. Um. <laughs> Best freeze frame ever. Getting bounced off the Metroids. The Metroids are bouncy, and that's the problem here, is that there are Metroids flying everywhere. And uh, I, I got out damn near immediately. This was the easiest time I've ever had, but if you touch the Metroids, they will cancel out your spin jump. And uh, the Metroid Laboratory immediately detaches from the rest and blows up, which is almost a running gag at this point. <laughs> Samus is pissed. Oh! Oh yes, let's talk to Adam. That makes it all better. Samus! You shouldn't have done that. You ignored your orders. She's a bounty hunter, dude. She's, she's not a soldier. She doesn't give a shit about your orders. You may have to pay a price for that quite soon. I really shouldn't have given myself this much time to read the dialogue. I should have gone to it faster. What's this? Samus says dialogue? What the fuck? Heresy! As you can see, the Federation has been secretly working on a Metroid breeding program. For peaceful applications, of course. Oh yes, of course. Please understand. Understand! Why else would we want an Omega Metroid? It's for peace! For peace, yes, for peace's sake. But you already knew of this progress. But you already knew of this program's existence, I mean. I shouldn't have given myself this much time. It's only prolonging the pain of reading Adam's dialogue. Certainly, you must have had doubts when you saw Sector 1. SRX, a faithful replica of the SR388 ecosystem. The home planet of the Metroids. SR388. Metroid 2. Return of Samus. Go play it. Ideal for raising Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and even Omega Metroids. This research even uncovered techniques for rapid growth. Yes, because we want to make them more uncontrollable and more dangerous to handle. Imagine creating an Omega Metroid from a Larva Metroid in days. But that research is finished. The X has smelled out its na natural enemy. Yeah. And one of the... SAX, <laughs> damn it, is on its way here. I really shouldn't have given myself this much time, I'm so sorry, but I'm not going back and recording this. Fuck that. One? Oh my god, Samus is speaking. Team Ninja must have made this. No! Are you saying there is more than one SAX? Don't be so surprised, Samus. You know that the X reproduces through asexual division. Begin writing the fan fiction. Because of... Because of this mechanism, there are now no fewer than ten SAX on the station. We will only ever see one more. Samus, you must go. Get out, if you stay too long. The SAX will destroy you. No, they won't. The SAX is going to be a pushover. I'm ashamed of the fact that I died against it. Stop only at a navigation room to uplink to me. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in grade school. Stop only at the navigation room to up, uplink to me. I don't know how HQ is going to take this. But you need to get out now. Or report to them immediately. Whichever. I don't give a shit, it's Adam! 
Is your objective clear? Yes, God. Now get going. So I'm going to lay a power bomb here just to make sure there isn't anything I'm missing or... Okay, no, I didn't. I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. More dialogue! The real Adam would have said the same thing about that incident, but he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he always cared. He was not a machine obsessed with duty. No such compassion could exist in that computer. I'm pretty sure the computer is an exact copy of Adam, because Adam was a complete prick if you've played Other M. Here's where I lay a power bomb. And there's nothing. Shit. Whatever. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Another good use of the uh, super duper ice missiles with the dispersion effect is that you can use that. You can use the dispersion effect to uh, destroy missile blocks in a wide radius, so you don't have to waste as many uh, missiles to do so. But uh, we are coming to the end of this segment. When we pick up, we will be resuming our regular commentary, and here are more proto-Metroids, is what they look like. Or They're really kind of X-Factories. If, if you let one of them reform, uh, it'll turn into a big one of those, and it'll give you even more x sites than before. So, uh, from this point on, the regular commentary is going to resume, and I will see you there for the end of Metroid Fusion, which will be as soon as it's uploaded, so... Celebrating! Hopefully this has been recorded, and hopefully I'll never have to fucking record this again. I'm done with Metroid Fusion, that's it! This is the last thing I'm ever going to have to render from Metroid Fusion. Fuck this... C okay, don't... No, don't fuck this game. Fuck this playthrough, though. I'm done. That's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Had it! I'll see you guys later, or in a few seconds, depending on when you watch the next part.